Revelers at the waterfront in Cape Town took full advantage of the lovely weather uh, and of course the glorious backdrop that you have over there as they welcomed 2020 in style. CQTN's Angelo Coppola was part of the fun. The waterfront zone was the centre of the Mother City's New Year celebrations. This as authorities had earlier warned visitors and residents that they would deal firmly with anyone breaking the law. That warning didn't stop the festivities or excitement for the opportunities on offer in 2020. I'd say my highlight for 2019 was me being crowned first uh, runner-up for Miss Soweto. So yeah, that was my biggest achievement for 2019. To be united, really. Um, I feel that our country needs unity, not only with our country, but with other African countries as well. In his New Year's message, SA President Cyril Ramaphosa said that as the country enters this new year and this new decade, he's encouraged by the progress we had made under difficult conditions, knowing that we still have many mountains to climb and many treacherous rivers to cross. My highlight for 2019, I, I, I bought a new car and, and a new house. I want to open a big business. I got a business, but it's still small, but I want to grow it up. Amaposa says South Africans know only too well the enormity of the challenges that confront the country. But he says the country is united in the knowledge that it has the means and the determination to overcome them. With regards to the government, I would like to see the uh, more or less corruption around the country. I would like to see South Africa grow together with strength. I would like to see uh, unity amongst all culture, races. And of course, I would like to see the unemployed get jobs. I would like to see the less fortunate being given opportunities and becoming a rainbow nation, becoming strong. While the revelers were out partying in the city centre, life in the nearby townships remained subdued, with a high police presence as gangs continued fighting each other. Hey, policemen, the corruption must not take place this one. Yeah, because we saw many leaders who were very corrupt in this 2019. It was a disgrace, but we see this 2020. That must not happen. We want the rape on nation. We what we think for people that are, um, don't have nothing, which they are poor. So we need to think for those ones who have nothing at all. So at least now, whatever we vote in this 2020, we must see that there are the changes. There's no question that 2019 has been a tough year for most people in South Africa. And everyone's looking forward to 2020, hoping it's going to be better. More jobs, better security, improved economic growth. And of course, people want to be happy. I'm Angelo Coppola for CGTN on the waterfront in Cape Town, South Africa.